Hello all, this is a demonstration of the uh, GC Modular Stepper Controller. It's set up for a, a single stepper motor and we'll start walking through uh, the various things it offers. Okay, we have a, a main module and everything plugs into the main module here. Uh, on the back of the main module we have a USB port. Okay, it can be uh, USB powered, it can be 12 volt in for the motor, and this is out to the stepper motor here on this side. On the front panel, with the front panel removed, we have speed control for it. We have a secondary port for a wireless control instead of the USB. Uh, we have a temperature sensor input, uh, comes with a 2 meter temperature sensor probe length, and we have a display cable output, and that goes over to the display unit over here. Uh, on the display unit we have uh, just an input so you know you mount this to your base and you just walk around with this little piece uh, giving you all the control of it you don't need the display unit you don't need the wireless unit uh, everything is directly usable via the buttons on the main module if you notice over here I'll set this and we're stepping in actually stepping in now was we'll stepping out Okay, you notice this little number over here showing you the speed that it's going to be driving at, the pulses per second. Uh, in standard display mode, it's showing you the display module steps per second that it's going to execute. That is controlled by a little twist dial up here. The main module is controlled by the little twist dial up here. So, I'm going to increase the speed a little bit. Now we're up to 162 steps per second right now. Okay. Uh, inside the unit with the ASCOM driver, you can configure the main module's maximum steps per second so you don't overdrive your motor. This thing is capable for up to uh, 1,465 steps per second, which is pretty much faster than any hobbyist type motor would go, or you could possibly want to go. Um, what we have it doing is controlling this stepper over here and I'll play with some buttons over here and you can see it rotating here's out here's in well, I'm going to twist the dial a little bit here down to slow speed and it's moving real slow so if I push two buttons at the same time we go into fast mode which is the automatically kicked up to the maximum rate that you allow the stepper to step at so let's move uh, a little bit faster and it's real-time control as I twist the dial. You can see the motor move at different speeds. So no, I dragged it down too low. That was at five steps per second. Can't see much at five steps per second. Okay, back over to this unit. Now on the display unit, uh, what we see is the current position shown. Uh, we see the step type that does uh, wave stepping, half stepping, and full stepping, which is two coils energized uh, um, at a time. And we have the one here represents whether the coils are on or off. Uh, one says the coils are currently set to off. So every time you execute some series of motions, it will turn the coils off, keeps your motor heating down. Uh, the zero over here shows you the uh, phases. Uh, cap this thing has the capability to adjust to any phase wiring you may have done your motor to. So, you know, as long as you get the power to the right one, you can hook up your phases in any order and you can step through the phases on here. Um, it shows you the temperature and as we talked about already, the, uh, the current step rate. Now, if I twist this, you can see that I have this currently maxed at 146 steps per second. I'm going to crank it down to, I don't know, 58 steps per second. Now let's walk through the uh, uh, menu structure. At the top level menu, you get these displayed items. The next menu item is the motor setup. Now to go into the sub menus, you press the right upper button. Okay, and then this says set the stepping type. So if we watch this W here currently, so now we're at half step, full step, wave step. Okay, next sub menu item, coils on or off. So one is a coils off, coils on, coils off. Next sub menu item, 
is the phase stepping. This cable is currently wired up for a phase zero order. Uh, again, it's, it's kind of an arbitrary type of thing, but all of uh, your wirings are accounted for. So you can you get three choices. It should account for all your phase wirings possible. So I'm going to go back to zero. Okay. And let's see. The max speed. This is where you set the maximum speed that the display unit is allowed to step out at. And as you can see here, I'm walking up the different choices. 366 steps per second. 1465 steps per second. Let's go back to... Hundred forty six steps per second. Okay, there aren't any more uh, pieces in this sub menu, so it just rolls around. We're back at set stepping. So let's go to next main menu. This is your display setup. Uh, going into the you can configure the brightness uh, of the display. You can we'll put it up at around twenty eight. It's nice when it's uh, daylight out here. Okay, you can set the contrast. You have contrast available from 31 uh, down to 14. And it's temperature compensated, so um, you only have to set the contrast once and forget it to your liking. 29. Okay, next sub menu item under display is this is set for the backlight always on. You can have it always on or always off, uh, or under a timer control. So I'm going to say it's not always on. So we get to the next submenu item, and it tells it how many seconds to keep the display on. So right now it's set for 90 seconds. Uh, you can go down to 10 seconds or up to 310 seconds. And I'm actually going to go back around and set this to always on for the movie. It works better that way. Okay, so, and so now when I go to try to set the timer, it's telling me the backlight set to always on, so you can't do, you, the timer doesn't become available anymore.